Hey guys, what's going on everyone? Mav here, back with another video. And uh, today I got my week one NFL predictions. Alright, let's start with the Bills and the Rams. So the reigning Super Bowl champions are taking on the Buffalo Bills. Give me Buffalo all day. Alright, Josh Allen, he's a beast in week one. And uh, I think we're going to see that here. Uh, I think we're going to get the Rams. I think I think the Rams are going to go crying home to their mama. Alright. Give me, give me the Bills 28 to 10. I don't think the Rams are going to even have the slightest chance at putting up any points. All right. Next up, we got the Eagles and the Lions. Bro. Bro, I know both these teams are trash, but I got to take the Eagles. I, I, I got to take the Eagles. Give me the Eagles 28 to 14. All right. Now, 49ers and the Bears. The Bears don't have Mitchell Trubisky, but the 49ers have Jimmy Garoppolo. So I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Garoppolo man. Give me the give me the Niners. 21 to 14. Steelers and Bengals. The Steelers, oddly enough, have Mitchell Trubisky. Uh, but the Bengals, they're gonna curb stomp them. I'm sorry, Steelers fans, but. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. So uh, give me the Bengals, 14 to 7. All right, next up, we got the Patriots and the Dolphins. Mac Jones is going to find a way to win it. Bill Belichick. You know Bill Belichick better than that. Bill doesn't lose to the Dolphins. You had the Miami Miracle one time, Dolphins fans. One time. And it will never happen again. Patriots all day, 28 to 7. Browns and the Panthers. Oddly enough, these teams are still rebuilding. The Panthers don't have Sam Darnold. They're still debating on which new quarterback they should have. Uh, and the and the Browns gave away Baker Mayfield. And then they lost to Sean Watson. Who do they have now? A backup? They're screwed. I don't even think they're going to get points on the board. We're going to see the return of the 2017 Browns. It's going to be embarrassing. Give me the Panthers, baby, all day. 31 to 14. Colts versus the Texans. All right, now this is a hard one. And the Texans are without Deshaun Watson. The Colts no longer with Andrew Luck. I know that was a long time ago, but I thought I'd bring it up. Honestly, this is a hard one. When these AFC South teams get together, it's always a close game. I think both these teams are kind of garbage, especially with their current rosters. But somehow I think that this game is going to be closer than everyone thinks it's going to be. So, uh, give me the... You know what? Give me the Texans. Give me the Texans 21-7. to uh, I'm sorry. 21-28. to That's right. The Texans are going to win 28-28. To 21. I know I just changed the score, but my final score is 28 to 21. Texans. I think it's going to be a lot closer than people think it's going to be because they're two AFC South teams. All right, now going on to the next two AFC South teams, we got the Falcons and the Saints. So, Falcons, they really haven't been good ever since they made the Super Bowl. They, ha I mean, they're not terrible, but you know, Drew Brees. What's going on with him? I don't know. You know, is uh, is their number one wide receiver playing? I don't know, but uh, I feel bad for whoever has their defenses on fantasy because uh, both their defenses are going to get rocked. Uh, give me the Falcons, twenty-one to nine. All right, now we got the Ravens and the Jets. Man, you know it's the Jets. The Jets are going to lose. The Jets always lose. The Jets are terrible. And you know what? I'm so confident on this. I will I will bet my soul that they lose. I'm you know what? I'm betting that they don't even score any points. Give me the Ravens 28 to 0 because the Jets are terrible. All right. Now we got the Jaguars and Commanders. Uh so if the Jaguars play anything like they did in the Hall of Fame game, the Commanders have it, and honestly, I'm picking the Commanders anyway, because the 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 Commanders last year 
or Washington as they were known last year. The Commanders last year actually pulled their act together. They were one of the few teams to beat the Steelers. Actually, they were the first team to knock off the Steelers' uh, win streak. Uh, they were going undefeated. I think it was back in 2019. And uh, they've made some very, very solid moves in the offseason. Their quarterback is really solid. And I think it's a really underrated team. I think it's going to be the rise of the Commanders. Uh, give me the Commanders. 28 to 7. All right, now we got the Packers and the Vikings. The Vikings just, they surprise me every year. They can have one of the best offensive lines, the best wide receivers. But uh, they're just not good. Give me the Packers. 21 to 3. And only a field goal. All right, now we got the New York Giants versus the Tennessee Titans. Uh, wow, yeah, I. this is a bottom-of-the-barrel matchup. But give me the Titans because they have Derrick Henry. All right, give me the Titans. Mm, let's say, I don't know, 21 to 6. All right. Now let's go with the Raiders and the Chargers. Raiders are, of course, my team. But sadly, I am picking them to lose because, well, the Chargers have Justin Herbert. And they have a really stacked lineup. I'm not saying that the Raiders probably won't put up a fight, which I'd be sad to see if they didn't. But last year, we beat them. They probably should have beat us when we got into the playoffs. There was a lot of questionable penalty calls. And honestly, I have no problem losing to the Chargers and I'm also I have no problem with the Raiders losing on week one because the last time we've won in week one it's actually brought us bad luck so maybe if we could lose in week one it would bring us better luck for the future season and also the Chargers they're just really good so give me the Chargers in this one I'm gonna say it 30 to 28. I think it's going to be a very close game. I think it's going to be a shootout, but in the end, I think Justin Herbert is going to pull through, and I think the Chargers are going to take this one 30 to 28. All right, now we got the Chiefs and the Cardinals. It's the Chiefs. Love them or hate them, the Chiefs, the Chiefs are elite. They have Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, um, Tyree Kill. Actually, did Tyree get traded? I think he got traded. But regardless, they still have a stacked lineup. Andy Reid still going to coach this team to victory. It's not even going to be close. Give me the Chiefs 21-3. to Yeah, the Cardinals are only going to score a field goal. All right, now we got the Buccaneers and the Cowboys. Uh, Tom Brady's back. He's not going anywhere. He doesn't have Gronk this year. Maybe he does, but uh, he has Julio Jones, and uh, he still has one of the best wide receiver cores of all time. It doesn't matter if he doesn't have Antonio Brown. Uh, yeah, Tom Brady's back. He's not going anywhere. The Cowboys are complete doo-doo. Uh, so, yeah, give me the Buccaneers. 30 to nothing. Mark my words, it will be the blowout of week one. It will be embarrassing. Jerry Jones is going to have to retire after this game. Mark my words. And now we got the Broncos versus the Seahawks. Oddly enough, the Broncos have Russell Wilson this year. So uh, does that make them good? No. No, it doesn't. The Broncos have always had trash coaching options. I don't even care. Whoever their coach is, is garbage. The Broncos have never been good. The Seahawks know Russell Wilson. He's washed up. He's not going to make the Broncos better. Give me the Broncos. 28-9. to nine. I meant... I'm sorry. I said that backwards. Give me the Seahawks. 28-9. to nine. All right, boys. And that is my picks for the week one of the NFL season. Uh, if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever, and uh, I'll see you all when the season starts. Have a good day.